Transportation is changing rapidly with a focus falling strongly on self-driving cars. But as far as technology goes, we're far closer to having autonomous cars on the road than having them go driverless. So what's the difference? Autonomous refers to increasing levels of automation in a driver-controlled car while a self-driving car is designed to be driverless. Many cars already come equipped with sensors and computers that keep tabs on the engine, transmission, and emission. Standard computerized safety features like electronic stability control together with the anti-lock braking system have been instrumental in preventing skidding on slippery roads. Rear-view cameras have also become more common and will soon become a standard feature. On the other hand, self-driving cars are still being researched and tested. As we move towards more autonomous vehicles, additional computerized safety features are being introduced beyond luxury brands into top-end models. Blind spot warning helps drivers make safer lane changes. Lane assist warns drivers if the vehicle starts to drift and can also help keep the vehicle in lane. Object detection and automatic braking assist in accident prevention or at least lower the speed of impact. Self-parking is another useful feature for the many drivers challenged by cumbersome parking situations. All these features are enabled by various sensors. Camera sensors capture images of your surroundings. Ultrasonic sensors use echolocation to ensure you don't bump adjacent vehicles or nearby objects while parking. Radar sensors use radio frequencies to detect surrounding traffic. LiDAR is a light-based radar that effectively and extensively maps your vehicle's surroundings when driving. Cameras, ultrasonics, and radars are commonly featured in many top-end car models. LiDAR, while highly effective, is still cost-prohibitive at this stage, but research is pointing to lower-cost technologies. Data collected by these sensors is processed by computers embedded in the vehicle's electronics. These computers, in turn, signal the actuators that control the vehicle's mechanics. This type of computing traditionally relies on pre-programmed if-then conditionalities. For example, if object ahead is too close, then apply brakes. Since a typical driving situation is highly complex, many such conditional statements are needed to execute effective real-time decisions. This complexity and the large amount of data involved in autonomous driving makes it more suitable for analysis via machine learning, more specifically artificial neural networks. Autonomous cars have the potential to reduce traffic congestion as well as the number of road accidents and fatalities. Certain sectors of the population, such as the elderly and disabled, can clearly gain from the safer mobility offered by self-driving cars. That said, however, many drivers are still adjusting to the idea of relinquishing total control to their vehicle. For many people, the act of driving brings a certain joy. There is also reluctance about allowing a car to make moral and ethical decisions. For example, should the car swerve to save a child, even though it could endanger the driver? As vehicles become more autonomous, many safety, security, and privacy concerns will need to be addressed. Ultimately, a programmed car is only as reliable as its code, and extensive testing is required to prevent computing errors. It needs to be protected against remote hacking, and as with any computerized system that collects data, solid privacy protection standards need to be established. Autonomous and self-driving cars are also bound to have a big impact on the insurance industry, especially as cars become safer. At the same time, there will be new liabilities to consider. For example, will it be the driver or the car manufacturer who is held accountable when an accident occurs? To recap, many cars already come equipped with sensor-based, computerized safety features. Putting them together in a fully autonomous car is the next logical step, ultimately making hands-free, foot-free, and eyes-free driving possible. This would mean less driver involvement, eventually facilitating driverless cars. However, as with any computerized system, security and privacy issues need to be comprehensively addressed, safety standards put in place, and liabilities clearly defined. One thing is certain though, we're in for a thrilling new era in vehicle transportation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some more fun and informative videos on the Tech Animate channel.